Honey, how my peeps? Oh boy, I had a good day today. I decided to um, to go to town uh, to do my errands and also to hit the Dollar Tree for a new supply of $3 dinner um, ingredients, as well as a few other things I needed. So I thought before I actually started doing the $3 dinners, I would show you my haul. Um, I got stuff other than dinner stuff as well. I found a couple of these wall decorations. I love this one with the hummingbird. It reminds me of Love and Be Kind who adores hummingbirds. And I bought one of those and then I found these marvelous unicorns. I thought these were just great. And I will probably end up including these in a giveaway or something of that nature. I just thought they were so sweet. I ended up buying three sets of those. Um, so in for food stuff, I bought three of the ultra thin uh, crust pizzas. I want to experiment with doing some pizzas that are non-traditional, have non-traditional toppings, or maybe use up stuff that you've got lying around in the um, in, in the refrigerator. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Another non-food item is I bought a bunch of different of these storage bags. Um, some of them, like this isn't a, um, a vacuum bag, it's just a regular storage bag. But I have, um, I, as I'm cleaning those antique clothes that you saw in my last video, I'm putting them into um, Ziploc bags with some mothballs so that I can put them away and I'll, I'll keep them safe and and my daughter can keep them safe you know if she decides to just store them or whatever so I just got a lot of different um, sizes okay as far as food items uh, go back to the food items they don't always have this um, large bag of the Texas style honey sweet cornbread um, I sort of wish it wasn't honey sweet I think I prefer to to cook cornbread that doesn't have sugar in it but just because it goes better with more things. But this is what they had, so I think I got four or five of these. Um, they're such a good deal. Um, I forgot to check what the expiration is. And even if the expiration is close, um, oh no, it's not even until next year. Anyhow, you can always keep stuff like this in the freezer if the, if the expiration is getting close. So I bought, you know, a number of packages of those. Um, Oh, here are some of the vacuum bags that I found. So I got a few of those. I got a couple packages of Hamburger Helper. Now you guys know how I am about a $3 meal. I like something that's carb-based, that has some seasoning in it, and then I'll add a vegetable of some kind, and then something else. Who knows what the other thing is. It could be more carbs, it could be more vegetables, it could be a meat, I don't know. So anyhow, I thought these would be something good to, uh, to work with. <coughs> I also got um, two, uh, are these one dozen? No, uh, these are two dozen count uh, fresh corn tortillas, and I bought um, two of these. So I'll probably put one in the freezer. I love to put stuff in the freezer. Uh, and I'll keep the other one out, <coughs> and I'll get ready and do some cooking with that. So I'm going to, oh no, before I put you on hold to go get another bag, um, I wanted to show you something else. I went to the Dollar General, the new Dollar General that we have up in the, up in the village, and I was disappointed. I was disappointed with <coughs> how expensive a lot of the stuff was, what a small selection of <coughs> excuse me, dollar items they had uh, in the food section. I did find a few good things though um, that were a dollar and so I did buy a few. What I bought was the the individual eyelashes. Um, I don't think these are Ardell. I don't know who makes these. But anyhow, this was a buck. Um, I bought some of the Kiss Petite fingernails. I really like um, this this Kiss brand of pretty much everything. <coughs> I love their nails, and um, 
And I bought these because they had them in petites. And my fingernails are kind of small. I've noticed that that in a lot of the fake nails, they I really have to. I'm really um, kind of going towards the smaller um, ranges of nails, and I end up with all these big horsey nails. So anyhow, I think this will fit me a lot better. And then um, I also found for a buck each these large pearl studs that are backed with a, a like a glue dot and um, I like these because I use these pearl dots in like when I make my Christmas um, cards that I send out to you guys and all that but um, it's hard to find them in this size this is a nice horsey size of, of pearl dots so I got some of those all right now I'm going to put you on hold I'm gonna go grab another bag Okay, so let's see what else I have. Um, alrighty. Oh, I found that I've never seen these before. It's the Krispy Kreme Donuts Cake Mix with chocolate flavored donut glaze. Have you guys ever seen these? I mean, I've never seen them at a Dollar Tree, certainly, but I've never even seen them before. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so I got a couple of those. And... I stocked up on the jambalaya, the New Orleans jambalaya mix. I got two, I guess, two of those. That's not really a stock up, but um, I don't normally use a spray um, oil. I normally, you know, oil my pans with a paper towel or whatever. But um, I thought just for ease, I would go ahead and try using some of this spray um, oil. I got a couple more packages of the pepperonis and a package of white egg noodles. I still have some of those uh, in my pantry, so um, I got some of these toast and pop-ups um, in the brown sugar cinnamon. I had seen a um, video by Jan Creason um, where she made this thing called eclair cake that uses um, vanilla pudding, cool whip, uh, graham crackers, and then she makes this ganache, chocolate ganache, real simple, that goes over the top. It's a freezer dessert. And I was thinking about trying to come up with something like that um, and put my own spin on it. So I thought maybe um, a layer of this stuff kind of crumbled up in the center might be kind of interesting. So I bought that uh, to experiment with. More bags, another Krispy Kreme. Oh, I bought a bunch of frozen vegetables. I probably bought, this is the California mix. I also bought, or California blend. I also bought the winter mix, and I think I got three of each. And this one should have been made it to the freezer before um, I pulled it out of there and it didn't, but that's okay because see, I can actually cook with these things tonight. I got another shrimp egg roll because I like to take the um, chimichangas or egg rolls or whatever and, um, you know, cut them up and put them, just one, into, a, into one of the main dish meals because it adds flavoring and texture without adding, you know, you don't have to buy a bunch of them. One is usually enough. To add some flavor and texture. Um, I wanted to do another um, uh, maybe Chinese style kind of meal so that's what I'm going to use that for. Um, four of the Texas cornbread. I got a couple of um, cans of these chicken tamales. Man I remember these things from my childhood. Anyhow I also thought that perhaps a can of this kind of chopped up into rice or something while it's cooking would impart kind of an interesting flavor and new texture to the meal. So I got a couple of those to play with. Um, in the same spirit, I got one chimichanga because I want to do a, a Mexican flavored or style dinner that has, um, that'll have a rice base and then I'm going to use this chimichanga to give it a little bit of flavor. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put this frozen stuff in the refrigerator, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my stuff. And we're back with the rest of the bags. Um, 
uh, more storage bags. I also got some mothballs. I'm kind of on the fence about mothballs. I don't really know how I feel about using them, but because um, I know it's not good for you. However, what I'm trying to uh, preserve is pretty special, so I'll use some mothballs to try to keep that um, doing well. Um, here's more of the frozen. It should have made it to the freezer, but it's still real cold, so that should be fine. Um, I also got some of the Hungry Jack cheesy scallop potatoes. Again, just like the um, the hamburger helper or rice sides or whatever, this makes a nice um, sort of base to add other things to. So I got a couple of those. And the last of the cornbread mix. Um, I also bought a couple cans of the Southgate chili with beans. I figured that would make an interesting addition. Um, I bought um, some uh, ch uh, dumplings and chicken, and they say dumplings and chicken because it's mostly dumplings with just a scant amount of chicken, but that's okay because it's a base for something. Then I also found, I hadn't seen these before, the seasoned collard greens. Now I prefer to use fresh greens if I can, but um, shoot, some canned greens is... Uh, that's useful. I'm not going to say no to, can to canned greens. Um, so here's the, the rest of my Hungry Jack. What else? Do I have anything else that's different in here to show you? Um, oh, I got some chunky noodle soup. I figured that could be added to something. Um, here's some more collard greens. I should have bought more collard greens. I'm going to go back and get more. I think that was a, a good snack. And then I also got some French-style green beans as well. Um, I was uh, at a friend's house when I was on vacation with Abigail, and um, our hostess served these just can I mean, just canned green beans, nothing special, but she cooked them with chopped up walnuts, and she actually cooked it for a while so that the walnuts got um, a little bit on the soft side. I, you, I never think in terms of cooking a canned food. I always think you pour it into a pot, you heat it up, and you're done. But she actually cooked these for a while, and it was so good. It was, it was. I, I don't even like walnuts, but somehow the flavor of the walnuts and the green beans together was excellent. So I thought I might try some of that. The last thing I bought were four packages of these um, self-stay rollers. They're Velcro rollers. Now. I don't normally wear makeup. No, I don't. However, um, I'm going to be doing some videos that require costuming. So that's what the eyelashes and the nails and the hair rollers are for. So that's come. That's upcoming. I'm still pulling that whole idea together. But I didn't own any rollers, so I thought I better get some. So that pretty much covers everything I picked up at the uh, Dollar Tree today. Um, I avoided the candy and snack aisle, good for me. Uh, didn't buy any junk except for junk that I'm planning on giving away. So um, so I did pretty well at the Dollar Tree. I'm proud of myself. So uh, stay tuned because more $3 meals are coming up. Bye.